Hey beautiful people, I'm gonna show you that how you can upgrade your iPhone, iPad or iPod to the latest version of iOS 10.3 but keep in mind that it is a beta version so make sure to create a full backup of your iDevice before start. If you are one of those interested users, however, you will have to go through the public beta download and install process. So while it's not complicated, it is different. So we are going to walk you through it and give you a place to ask questions if you need extra help. Apple occasionally offers updates to iOS 10 public betas for iPhone, iPad, and a Mac. Sadly, no public betas for the Apple Watch or TVOS. While the betas contain new features, they also contain pre-release bugs that can prevent the normal use of your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, Apple TV or Mac and are not intended for everyday use on a primary device. So let's get started. Open the website from the Safari browser beta.apple.com and we will gonna enroll our device to get the latest upgrade. I strongly recommend staying away from developer previews unless you need them for software development and using the public betas with caution. If you depend on your devices, wait for the final release but you can still check it out. It's fun in case if you want to go back, you can also go back by just clicking I will show you in next few minutes. So all you need is sign in here with your Apple ID. I see some people are not getting the iOS 10 update on their old iDevices so this is the video for you guys. I hope this feel gonna work for you. Sometime it asks you to accept to agree to the terms and conditions so make sure to agree the terms and conditions. So guys after signing in you will see a blue text here enroll your iOS device so click on that. Here it is. So guys, click on this magical download button, this will gonna crash your i devices. <laughs> just kidding, sorry. Go ahead and download the profile. I forget to tell you that if you have been on a previous iOS public beta, you may need to remove the previous beta profile before installing the iOS 10 version. You can do so by going to settings general profile, selecting the iOS beta software profile and pressing the delete profile button. If you don't know what I am talking about, so forget about it and follow my tutorial. Once your iPhone, iPad or iPod has finished rebooting, it should start to download iOS 10 automatically. From this point on, the process is the same as any other iOS update. So after a reboot, you will see a feedback application on your home screen and you cannot delete it. This app is used to send some bugs information to the Apple company. So let's see our software update settings. Mmm, it is not showing us the latest update because first we need to delete the downloaded iOS from our iDevice. So all you need is come into the storage, iCloud usage and manage storage. So you will see here downloaded iOS. Just delete this update. Now you can see it's showing the latest version of iOS which is not yet released but you can download and install it by pressing the download and install button. It's amazing right? So let me also show you that if you wanna unroll your iDevice to get rid of these beta updates, simply delete the profile or if deleting the profile is not working for you so just use your computer to restore iDevice from iTunes that's why I told you that make sure to create a backup of your iDevice
you can see it is now getting the old iOS update. So thank you for watching this video. Um, thank you. Uh, subscribe here. No, not here. Oh, not here. No, oh, forget about it. Thumbs up. Thank you. Goodbye.